In addition to being able to see a lot of analysis results in the post processor, you are able to use some other tools to display different pieces of information. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the structural tooltip to view your results. Now, the structural tooltip, or bubble help as it's often called, displays some information about a member. Once an analysis has been performed on the model, the structural tooltip can be used to display certain analysis results. Now, we're going to be using a model that's already been analyzed. And what I want to do is I want to customize what I view in my structural tooltip. So in the analytical modeling mode, I'm going to go to the view tab in my ribbon toolbar and then click on my structural tooltip options. Within this area, I can customize the information I see for all of these different types of entities. For this example, I'm going to go to the beam option and say I want to be able to review my member and forces. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that to a checked option and I can customize each individual type of reaction that I want to see. Once I'm done, we'll go ahead and click OK. Now what we're going to notice is if I take my beams cursor, which is already turned on, I can hover over any member within my model to get more information on it. And you can see how I've customized what I'm seeing in this bubble by adding in the ratio, the design ratio, and I also have the member end forces that I requested. Now these member end forces are showing it according to the currently selected load case. If I wanted to select a different load case, I can go to the loading tab in the ribbon toolbar and select a different option. And then we could see, I could see my member end forces for say load case number four instead. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.